Welcome to our new Animal Wise video. Today we'll be talking about the Cane Corsa. Cane Corso is also called the Italian Mastiff. Together with the Neapolitan Mastiff, it is one of the most memorable Molitor breeds. Cane Corso dogs descend from the Canis Pugnax, a large Molitor dog used in warfare by the Roman army. These dogs fought the battlefield alongside the soldiers. They were also kept as guard dogs and used in Roman amphitheatres where they were forced to fight against bears, lions and other wild animals brought back to Europe from the Empire. Besides watching over villas in the countryside, this type of dog was also an excellent livestock herder and hunting assistant. The Italian Mastiff is a medium to large sized dog, strong and muscular yet still elegant in its own way. It was common to dock their ears and tails, but thankfully this cruel practice is disappearing and has even been made illegal in many countries. Their coat is shiny, short and smooth, with a thin undercoat, and canny corso dogs can be black, blue, fawn and brindle. Cane Corso is an independent dog. They can be quite territorial and are both loyal and protective. Italian Mastiffs develop very deep bonds with the family he cares for them, especially with children. This is a very athletic breed that loves to go outside and exercise, so they are perfect for active families and owners with some experience in dog training. However, Cane Corso dogs tend to be calm and quiet when at home. Cane Corso dogs are indifferent and cold with strangers. They are very confident and don't tend to have exaggerated reactions. Caring for Italian Mastiffs is simple. You'll have to brush them once a week to get rid of dead hair, and you'll only have to bathe them every two or three months depending on how dirty they get. Although they are not extremely active, Cane Corsa dogs require long daily walks to keep their muscles in top form and to release any accumulated stress. We recommend going for three and a half hour walks every day. If you can, add some physical exercise with track and intelligence games for better all round development. It's important to train the Cane Corso when they are very young. Puppies learn the most between 3 and 12 weeks old. You'll teach them to moderate their bite and socialise with different people, animals and environments. The Cane Corso puppy will also learn basic commands such as sit, stay, down or heel. This is extremely important for the dog's safety. A properly trained and socialised Cane Corso will be a calm companion and tolerant of other people and dogs. However, Mastiffs who haven't been trained as they should can become extremely territorial wary of others, and even aggressive towards people and other dogs. Even when well trained, canny Corso dogs aren't the best choice for beginners. It's always recommended to go to the vet at least once or twice a year for a thorough checkup. Stick to the vaccination and deworming schedule according to your vet's advice. Canny Corso dogs are at risk of suffering elbow and hip dysplasia, gastric torsion, vaginal hyperplasia, heat stroke, glandular hypertrophy, scabies, entropion and ectropion when they are very young. However, if you stick to our guidelines and take good care of your Cane Corso, they can live on average between 10 and 14 years old. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel to learn more about dogs and other animals. See you soon!